hello guys welcome to our html and css tutorial from scratch in this tutorial i'm going to teach you everything you need to know about html and css my name is richard and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be able to get the rest of the videos so let's start doing something enough of the talking thank you hello guys welcome back my name is richard and welcome to html and css tutorial number five in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to navigate through your web page okay there are tutorials in your previous tutorial we learned how to link our web pages to other web pages and we saved the whole of this and we said that when you click on the previous page it will bring you back to this my first website and when you click on the next page it will link you to my second website and also we link our page to google sorry i make a mistake here it's supposed to be k not g so you can correct that so when you go to google you can open your facebook or whatever you want and it will work for you as you want it but we are not going to do this what you are going to do today is how to link our web pages so we go back to where our browser is now to be able to navigate through your web browser you have to have a long test of something that will make you navigate through here but here will be a very something that will be very long for other people or viewers to be able to navigate on their own so we are going to do something very different here i'm going to delete whatever i have here and i go back to my notepad and make some copy of notes i copy everything here and then i will play back it i can put it back here now let's save this and see what we have on our website then we can know how to arrange things there now when we run it you can see that i have a chunk of files and it's very very huge you know when somebody is reading through this web page and mom is calling now with this junk of us we have to do something about it so we go back to our programming area and let's say general news and general news what we want to do is we break it okay so you're going to break general news and you've already break that and what are we going to do again we know history in history we're going to break it again so we're going to bring our breaking sign our breaking method which is there br if you remember how then space and then you close it so when you write a br i'm too lazy i'll copy it and then i'll be breaking as i go on so i have to break this one too so i will play br here and i want to break here too okay i'll break here and then i'll break here okay now we continue by breaking how we want our website to look and it will look just as we do it if you do something you don't want it that way and then you gotta make changes okay let's see what i've done now i go ahead and save it and then i come back to the browser and run it oh good i think i've done something nice okay i think i've done something nice now the web page is easy to read and easy to access i don't want this please good news and thank you so much for your email to be to be to be one so i'll go back to where it is and i'll break that line too okay i'll break this line too and everything now looks so so nice and perfect let's see how it's going to be now i go ahead and save it and then run it and see Good. now that's how I want it to be now somebody can read through mango history I made a mistake there mango history and cow history rice history and so on now I'm going to go right there stand again so I go back in where the cow history is mango history I'll put my O back there okay okay so now to be able to navigate through this like say i have visited the website and i want to navigate through this website all that i have to do is i'll search for maybe mango history rice history i'll introduce a link yeah so it should be the a link right so we just introduce this link here 
and when we introduce it in the first opening tag you click on the space bar then you introduce an, another attribute which is the name attribute you click on you type in name okay when you type in name you type name equals to then you bring these two signs now remember we have the name to be rice history now we don't want to now we don't want to put rice history there the only thing we put there is maybe rice okay we only put in rice now you want to go back to the top where you want people to see immediately they open your web browser and let's say where we put in the google link you just go to the next line you introduce another link for it which is the a tag okay now you introduce your link again here when you introduce it in this link you are not going to write name but you write what we call the href okay when you write the href then you equal to sorry equal to then your two semicolons or sign the sign when you write it there note this please very carefully the only thing you have to do is to bring this hash sign when you bring the hash sign then you come and write the name that you wrote here you come and write in the rice that you wrote there so you go back and write rice so you just write your rice make sure if there is a capital letter you bring it and you write the rice now you give a name to it maybe rice history so you can give a name to it like rice history okay rice history and you go ahead and save this one very nicely and see what we have done in our website so when we run it you can see that we have rice history and when we should click on rice history it navigates straight to where rice history is so that is how to navigate in your website let me do another example with another one and i go back to my programming editor when i go to the programming editor i've already done for rice history so there's no need to tackle rice history again i go to cow history all that i have to do is to introduce the a element which is the link element then name equals then you bring your double colon now i want to give this one only cow okay i just put in cow but this time around i did not start with a capital letter i put in cow and then I close it with a closing tag I do another opening tag this is the closing tag for it now we don't write anything here we don't write anything here you go back to the top button and when you go you just start writing your code here okay so your h tag your a tag then href you write your href then you bring it equals so you bring this your double column sorry it's not this one it's double column remember we type in only cow with a small letter but the hash sign have to come first then you type in your cow okay when you type in your cow then you close it with a greater than sign then you open another closing tag here which is the a and then you close it now you can put a name for it we're talking about cow history so you can just type in cow history here and it will work for you Okay, when you type in car history you go ahead and see what you've typed in and then we run it and see all right now when we click on save and then we go to the top we can see that we now have cow history in the car history when we click on it it will send us straight to cow history okay maybe somebody is reading something and the the page is too long it is not capable of locating something but once you read about rice history you just click on rice history and it bring him it bring him or her or the viewer to rice history and you can read rice history okay and this is the next page you click on the next page it takes you to the next page and you click on the previous page it takes you back to your previous page and Here's the link to Google. I think I have to correct this thing. It's not supposed to look like that. So I go back and then where's the link to Google? I just change the G and make it capital K, small K, sorry. And then the L, I'll make it capital L. Now I save this and everything now looks perfect and neat. Okay. Everything now looks perfect and neat. Good. Now this is the link to Google. When you click on this link, your browser have to run, then it will take you to Google. But now I don't want to go to Google because my internet service is very, very, very slow here. So 
I'll just go back to my previous page and then do a last one. The last one is I'm going to talk about Mango History. Now you go to our browser, we search for where Mango History is. We just have Mango History right here. Now we introduce our link tag, which is the introduce our link tag which is the a tag okay so we just do a closing tag by writing this one and then in the first opening tag you give space when you give space you type in name okay when you type in name equals to then you bring these two signs this two column in the two column you give a name to the history that you are giving let's say i want to write just mango remember i start with a capital letter so mango then i go back to where i want it to appear on my web site okay I want it to appear on my website and then I just type in href no I'm not going to type in href you can type in your link and then you do the closing link also okay uh, in the first opening link you give space and then href it was then your two colon then remember in the mango place we did the mango so we start the mango with a capital letter so you first bring your hash when you bring the hash then you type in mango okay mango when you then bring the capital letter as you wrote there then forget it if you start with a small letter it must go with a small letter if you start with a capital letter it must go to the with, go with a capital letter now you give a name to it when you give a name so let's say mango history and that is good to go mango history mango history and you go ahead and save it when you save this and you come back to your browser you run it and we have mango history just appearing right here so when you click on mango history because mango history is here it's not going to move any more further but i can zoom my browser and mango history will get lost and i click on mango history something has to happen i think something is wrong so you go back and check okay i didn't spell it right okay so when i didn't spell it right it's not going to work so the only thing i have to do is to clean the o and when you clean the o you go back and save it when you save it and you run it you run it and boom you are good to go okay here is the mango history as you can see now that is how to navigate through your own web page on your website okay in case you have a very long web page or you are writing a note and you want to navigate through the note on your website that is how to navigate through it so that's how to navigate don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like the video give me a thumbs up and make sure you share it with your friends if you subscribe to my channel make sure you click on the bell so that you're able to get a notification whenever i post in a new video okay and if you don't understand anything in this video kindly write in the comment below and give me a comment about it and i'll check it and then do it for you thank you for watching once again as i always say practice makes perfect so make sure you practice if you don't understand anything just go over it again god bless you for watching keep being around to have more tutorial of HTML and CSS. I love you all. Bye for now.